Hello, my name is Joel Lababa, and I am the Franchise King. This video is by request. Someone who subscribed to my YouTube channel, which you can do easily, uh, someone who is subscribed asked me to talk about franchise opportunities that um, kill mosquitoes. I know, it, it seems kind of unreal, but a couple people have created franchise opportunities that is focused solely on spraying the air and misting and, and killing these darn mosquitoes. Now, I think you and I would agree, probably everyone in the world would agree, that mosquitoes need to die, all right? But a franchise opportunity that is, that is so focused on one thing, can it do well? I think it can. Uh, I actually like the idea. The business model itself, focusing on one specific niche, is really a good way to, to do business. You know, as a franchisee, you want to focus on one thing if you can, and what a great way to do it. Now, the, the question I had to ask myself before I, I, I produced this video was kind of one about regulations. What about the EPA? You know, um, uh, what has to happen? Do franchisees need to get a specific license? Do franchisees in, in a specific area need to get approved? Um, by a local EPA official. I mean, I'm not sure how that works, but I would imagine that the franchisor knows how to get that done. So that's a question that I have, and, and it's one that you should definitely ask early on. I mean, some of the stuff is pretty dangerous. Now, I do notice that uh, one franchisor in particular, Mosquito Joe, um, which I think is probably the first one, uh, has an alternative, and they use um, healthy uh, sprays, things that aren't really toxic. So that is, that is one way to do it. So where do franchisees and their employees, mostly their employees, spray? Well, how about if your family is having a huge graduation party for a kid and there are going to be 100 people over? Probably be a good idea to spray the area uh, before that happens. Does the spray stick around long enough? I think it does. Uh, once again, a great question to ask the franchisor. But there are a lot of places. What if you can, as a franchisee, hook up with your local city, your, your local municipality, and arrange to spray their parks? Do they do it? Do they have an outside company do it? If they do, maybe you can be that outside company. So there's a lot of really cool ways that you can do business. Now, the last thing I want to mention is that it can be seasonal. So if you live in, in the Midwest, in the northern part of the Midwest, where mosquitoes are not 365 day problem, can you make enough money? Can you bring enough revenue in, in the five or six months, maybe seven months, where you have to do mosquito control spraying? I don't know. You know, that's why you need to talk to franchisees of any franchisee you're talking, uh, of any franchisor that you're working with, to make sure that you can make money year round, especially in a business that's seasonal. Now, uh, a franchise like this in the South, might be almost year-round, so it's not as much of a worry. But in the north, if you're going to be in Minnesota, uh, Ohio, something like that, Michigan, you need to find out if there's enough revenue available for you that you can make in the months where mosquitoes are all over the place. So anyway, that is my take. I think it's definitely worth a look. Um, I would imagine that there are territories available. But once again, you know, think about the EPA stuff, the health things. Uh, uh, how exposed you are going to be to that stuff a lot, how exposed your employees are going to be, what kind of masks are available that can help. You know, it, it can't be dangerous. But these franchises have popped up and they're doing well, it seems. But you don't have to believe me that they're doing well. Talk to franchisees that are in this business, that are working it every day. I hope that helps. My name is Joel Lababa. I'm the Franchise King. If you have a request, if you would like me to talk about a specific type of opportunity, let me know, joel at thefranchiseking.com. Thanks for watching.